So when you're a teenager, you are discovering yourself. But let me be honest, you're discovering yourself at any age. <laughs> Every age. Every age, because <laughs> I'm still discovering myself, I and mean. I'm an adult. Exactly. <laughs> no, but it, yeah, it, it just happens. It just happens, and that's okay. So let's get to it. Uh, oh, whoa, that was, that was a snap neck move. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> what happened there? That uh, we are here to review a teen uh, romantic comedy, which Chrissy says is not a romantic comedy, but whatever. I think it's a romantic drama, but anyway. Whatever, I'm surely this is... Christy. Oh, yeah, this is her. And this is Giga Shot, and we are reviewing a uh, teen drama romantic comedy called Heartstopper that came out on Netflix just recently. And um, I actually, it's actually a graphic novel. There's like four volumes. Um, I was about to say the director, but I guess the director in a sense, author of <laughs> Alice Oldsman. Uh, she, I got it through the library. Um, I heard about it because Book Talk or Book Tube or Book something. They, they, fun. they were going crazy for it. And I was like, all right, it looks cute. It's a graphic novel. My brain cells are not all there. I'm really tired. Let me go through this really quickly. I was like, it looks fun. Yeah. And so you yeah, really you know. enjoyed it. <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. I actually read all four volumes like wow. literally quickly not really quickly that took like a year but let me tell you i don't read that fast okay but um i did read right. it in a year volume five is coming out i don't know when but because um volume four just came out so they made a live action tv show and it's um eight episodes it's only season one of course you know, with COVID and everything, it was shooting during that time. So, you could, you know, you had to have restrictions and COVID still going on and stuff. So, here we are. I was excited when I heard they were going to do a show. And I was like, oh my God, that's the graphic novel I read. I'm excited. And it's really cute. It's cute as a graphic novel, but as a show, it's also cute. So, let's get into it. <laughs> so, Finally. basically, the plot is Charlie Spring is the main character. He's a teen. Um, he got outed, sadly. He never had the decision to out himself, um, if he wanted to. Um, and so he's been bullied for a year. It's a year later and stuff. And he just wants somebody to love him for who he is. And so basically that's the whole story. And of course he meets Nick and they say hi. And then he says hi and all that stuff. And Nick is the rugby team, like star player or whatever, um, I don't know rugby like that. I'm so sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sorry, but no. <laughs> but um, I, I is it like football? Tell me below. Is it like football? I don't know. It looks uh, like football. You know, we're we're so Americanized. <laughs> but hey, we love you. We don't know all sports. So um, yeah. So he's the he's the star player, and they're sitting next to each other. And I don't know how they do the school systems over there. So, but I guess they sit different grades together because um charlie's in 10th and nick is in 11 so i was like oh that's interesting because they don't really do that here only if you're like eating lunch yeah right yeah. okay so, so first off really i want to say, say that it's like a romantic <laughs> drama because it hits very like hard on issues around homophobia and you know, just like trying to survive in school in that setting and being bullied and, you know, bullying. So for me, it was a romantic drama, even though they don't really do romantic dramas. But I didn't find myself no. laughing a lot in this show. So that's why I don't see it as a comedy. But mm -hmm. what I do find myself doing is feeling my heart twinkle because it's so cute to it watch. Cute. I mean, I feel like this is probably the most fun I ever watched. A, a romantic story in like probably the last two years or so like because it, it's like it, we, they're, we they're getting to watching. know each other you know and you see that spark building between them although you know in the beginning it's a secret and you feel excited for them and you yeah, feel that cute. something more is she coming. was bugging out she was like oh, oh my god Shelly what's gonna happen here is this what's gonna happen is this where it's gonna happen and they go I was like girl I'm about to I was excited the whole time <laughs> watching it. a little too excited because I read it, so she was just acting like, too oh. much. And I was like, girl, 
this is about to be a fight. No, I was just joking. But it was funny. It was cute just to see her excited because I was like, she hasn't read it. So because dope. I'm a huge romantic comedy fan, oh, yeah. so I love she, romantic she comedy. So I was like, damn, where's this show been all my life? But yeah. They did it right. I'm telling you, they had the perfect scenes. They had the snow scene. They had yeah. a raining scene. They had a beach scene. Oh, my <laughs> God. I was just falling in love with the oh, show. Oh, the snow scene, the beach scene. They're, they're so, all so cute, especially Nelly, the dog, Nick's dog. Yeah. So cute. Oh, my God. I, so I was cute. laughing at Tao, who's Charlie's friend, one of his friends who likes Elle. Elle is, I, I really love Elle's character. She, she's, you know, she she had to transfer schools She's she got bullied a lot too because she's a transgender um, teen girl, and so they they bully a lot. But she you so you get a little bit of her story. I wish we got more. Hopefully we do. But it's it's Charlie mostly his his story. But um, yeah, and and Tao and her like each other and all that stuff. And that's so cute. Yeah. And the Tao's um talking about the funny parts. Tao's uh, retali- uh retaliation, I guess. Um, remarks to harry who's the bully the main bully who's like homophobic and transphobic those remarks his his comebacks uh Tal's comebacks were so funny hilarious they hilarious. were hilarious they were they hilarious, were hilarious, hilarious they were but funny. also like sad for me because i'm like wow they really like they're very emotional too those comebacks kind of like mm-hmm. kind of speaking to like you know this bully why is why is he a bully is mm-hmm. it there's something more behind it so his his emo- his comments, his comebacks were very like emotional in a way, and it, like kind of for me would have definitely hit a nerve. Yeah, I think the big thing about yeah, it's 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 a romance story, you know, in a sense of teens of like you know you meet Tara and and Darcy who who are who are a couple. They go to the Higgins School, all girls school. And, you know, uh, Tara's scared to, to finally come out as, you know, in her relationship with Darcy as, uh, as a lesbian. She's scared because, of course, she's scared of what people are going to say and how they're going to treat her. Um, so you get that, that, that coming age of journey and, and life journey, too, with uh, Tara's uh, character and Darcy's. And their relationship is adorable, too. Um, so I, I love... It's it's about life journey. It's about figuring out who you are. Yeah. Um, just going through like all <laughs> what life throws at you, what people yeah. throw at you, especially if you're from a marginal uh, marginalized community, mm-hmm. you know, or you're from the LGBTQ plus community and all that. Mm-hmm. So um, it is. Yeah. It, I specifically uh, thought Tara and Darcy's uh, relationship in, in the story was very um, how she kind of made them into this very very fun loving romantic cuddly couple yeah. but as soon as they decided to come out with their relationship that kind that kind of shifted in a way it mm-hmm. was for Darcy she felt comfortable from the get like all the way through but Tara kind of struggled with it with people's comments and all of that but mm-hmm. ultimately in the end they came, kind of came back uh, like uh, did a 180 and came back to who who they yeah. really were which is someone and, who was you know, a couple that feels, you know, you know, they just love sharing their emotions out in public and felt yeah. comfortable doing that. Exactly. So and I, I, th- I thought it was interesting how she, changed, yeah, you know, and exactly and both between their relationship, both feelings are valid. You know, of how Tara felt and how Darcy felt because of their personalities and how they, you know, wanted to go with their relationship and how they wanted to tell people and stuff. So you get those both perspectives, and I like that. Um, of course, you know, Charlie and Nick are so cute, you know, and how, you know, it, 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 Nick trying to figure out who, who he is. And again, it's about those journeys. And, 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 it, and let me tell you, like in the, I said in the beginning, you, you know, and it's and when you're a teen, you're figuring that out. But let me be honest, you're figuring that out a lot when you're, <laughs> when you're an adult too. So I was figuring out a lot about myself when I was an adult as well. So it's always, uh, um, life is a, a journey and stuff. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, it's cute. I was like, I want to go to that high school. I was like, that art room. I was like, whoa. Yeah, I really. That was really cute. How like the scenes between the art teacher. And yeah. Charlie. Just to have a teacher, I used to get bullied a lot too, and just to have a teacher who understood you was like a miracle. 
uh, you know, just to be like, I get where you're coming from here, have this space and all that stuff and, and wanted to protect you. And that's teachers out there who do that. You're amazing. Amazing. Ser yeah. Um, seriously, because people, you know, teens, kids, they need that, especially, you know, when if you're from a marginalized community and all that. So, um, what was I about to say? Yeah, anything else? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like trying to remember girl. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, no, it was a cute story. Oh, the, like, the bullying, all that stuff. But, like, uh, Ben, who was going out, well, not really going out with, he was using Charlie. Charlie. Uh, you know, him telling him uh, that he's useless and blah, 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 nobody's gonna love you, blah, blah, blah. All these bullying, like, Harry, who's a bully, uh, these people... Basically, they, you know, bully other people and tell, like, tell them these awful things because that's how they feel about themselves, you know. And so they want to bring people down with them. And I love w with how they feel and how, so they, they're projecting, I guess, in the sense, that's, right? They're projecting, yeah. yeah. And not, not only with the harsh bullying words, but people who make fun of, of certain situations mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. That's also bullying, even though it's kind of, uh, you know, hidden or lined with co yeah. comedic relief or something like that. Yeah. So be so, careful with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so what Charlie says in the end to Ben, like, you don't get to make me feel how I feel. Exactly. You don't. You, you figure out what you got to do. You feel what you feel. But I'm going to do me. And I'm going to feel how I feel. And you, you, you don't get to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. You feel terrible about yourself. You know, you got to figure that out. So it's always projection and stuff. So they're telling you, oh, you're useless or, you know, you're ever going to be loved. It's because that's how they feel. Yeah. So, so you, they just want to feel, make people feel how they feel. And, you know, if people judge you for the way you live or who you are or, you know, how you experience things. Remember, it's not about you. It's about them. So how, you know, just do yeah. you. Just do you. Live your life. You know what you got to do for you. Exactly. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, ring that bell. Tell us if you're going to check out Heartstopper or if you read the book, the graphic novel or anything, or you rewatched it, how you felt, or, you you know, other teen romantic drama comedies and stuff. Um, you know, like John Hughes movies. Because those were the big ones, right? In the 80s. They were the big ones. They were the big ones. I, I could kind of see. Somebody said it had a feel to that. I could kind of see it. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love the artwork. Because that's how it is in the graphic novel. Like, the artwork of the leaves and stuff. And the birds. And, like, butterflies. Yeah. That's how that, it was. I love how they incorporated the art style into the show. That what I, the, That's book, what yeah. I really love, too. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and I could, you know... But as far as back to your John Hughes comment, I was mm. like, you know what? What this what's great about this show is the build up in the romance, in the relationship, which you don't get in the John Hughes. True. So yes. Um thanks, thanks for, watching. for watching. Like I said, like, ring that bell, subscribe to Geek Gets Chat. Because okay. we're gonna have cool more reviews coming out Come. for you. <laughs> thanks okay. for watching. Have a great week, month year peace peace we out of here